My name is Santiago Montoya. I'm an artist. Um, that's what I do. The way I work has, has changed and uh, evolved since my beginnings. Uh, as, a, as a child, I started taking uh, art classes when I was eight years old. And after going to college and understanding how much art had evolved and the importance of the conceptual side of art, um, at one point I decided I wanted to, to paint because it was the biggest challenge I thought I could, I could face, I could you know, put it in front of me. Eventually, after over 10 years of exploration, uh, to find a formal structure for my, for my art, I came across the idea of using money to paint, and then from there, all the, all the content of what I wanted to explore came together. I am the type of artist that likes or, and thinks it, it's relevant how you present the art, how you seduce the viewer to come into this conversation. Humor is part of the bait because, well, I guess everybody likes to have a laugh, but then when you understand you're laughing at something that's serious, the, the bottom of it is not funny at all, then you have an emotional uh, confrontation. It's a good spark for internal debate. And when you have an artwork, when you produce an artwork, you know you only have one, two, three seconds max to get that attention. And then afterwards is when, you know, the, the peak of intensity will be either reached or it would be lost. And if you look at the statistics of museums, the amount of time people spend in front of an artwork is ridiculous. If I wanted just to sell art, I, would have, I wouldn't put myself into this mess of getting into doing works with money. And every, every time I have an idea, an idea, it's much more complicated, but that's what I like. I, I like the challenge. When I started doing these works, uh, some of these works could take six months to complete. And the process of acquiring the banknotes, to finally putting them in the panel, there is a very long process, a very, very long process. In terms of hours, it's hundreds, or it could be over a thousand hours in one piece. So it's really, really, really long. You know, I, I don't mind talking openly about how my art is not a one-man island. This, this, this is a collaboration in many ways. And I see great value in other people getting into my work and putting their hands into my work. These are uncirculated banknotes, and they have to be in perfect condition. Shipping, you know, when you have a, uh, items coming from China, they usually take a month. Uh, sometimes they might take longer, sometimes they never arrive, so it's more complicated because you lost a month. And then getting a hold of th this 100 or uh, whatever number of magnets of that specific type you need, it's, it might take a couple of months before you can get some more. The largest amount of, of banknotes in one specific work, I believe it's around 3,300 in one single work. So assembling the pieces together could be a week, could be a month.
know, I've never felt that transforming this currency that is just packed together in, a, in somebody's drawer, somebody's closet, in somebody's vault, and, and putting it out there for the world to see and or for somebody to take it home and blah, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, is, is there there's any type of transgression in, in all, all the opposite I think it's it's you know like Warhol said if, if you have two hundred thousand dollars to buy a piece of art well just take the bloody two hundred thousand dollars and just display it on the wall for me it's not about the money <laughs>